Knowing how to code in Python is truly a life-changing skill set. I mean, just look at me, a self-taught programmer who went from making virtually nothing during his summer job while he was in college to being able to land a six-figure job as a data scientist in a fintech startup. However, I think it is also super important to realize for those who want to break into the tech industry that data science is not just the only career field available to those who know or who have a desire to learn to program in the Python programming language. As a result, in this video, I want to take the time to look at the different career fields and the different options that are available to potential or current Python programmers to help increase their salary and get them to that next level in their early career. Now, while my goal is also to inform you all about the opportunities that are out there, I also hope to try to convince you guys that indeed learning Python can be a life-changing skill set. And I would hope at the very least you would consider it. But for now, let's jump right into it. Now, instead of just me giving my opinion as to what I think, let's go ahead and actually take a look at what organizations are saying about career fields available to Python programmers. Now, the first resource we're going to look at is from the University of San Diego. They are traditionally a very, very good and very popular and well-respected computer science institution. And in this article that I've linked down in the description below, they actually take a look at six different career fields that are very popular and that pay pretty handsomely for Python coding skills. According to them, the jobs that are available are first, a Python developer. And they define Python developers to be individuals who are responsible for designing, implementing, and maintaining software applications. They need to have a strong understanding of software development and be proficient in Python. And the average salary for Python developers are $111,000 per year. Now, this is a bit of a catch-all, like if you could just learn how to program in Python. Essentially, the expectation is you can make about $110,000 per year. But getting a bit more specific, the second career field they mentioned is a data analyst. And for those of you who are familiar with Python at all, you'll realize that indeed Python is very, very useful for analyzing large quantities of data. And as they accurately portray here, right, not just being able to collect and analyze the data, but process, transform, and visualize visualize it is also going to be a key component of their job description. They can expect to make about $70,000 per year. Next, they say a systems engineer career path is conducive for those who know how to program in Python because they are responsible for designing, implementing, and monitoring complex computer systems and use Python to automate tasks and configure systems. Typically, they have a degree in computer science and engineering. The average salary is about $100,000 per year year. Next career field, which is going to be a very popular one amongst the other two resources that we talk about is that of a machine learning slash AI engineer. Not only do these people need to know how to use the Python programming language extensively, but as somebody who has studied machine learning for quite a bit, you need to have a very, very fundamental understanding of the mathematics involved in this career field. However, because machine learning sees the overlap of several like Venn diagrams of different careers, they are paid very handsomely at about $150,000 per year. Next, the sort of like machine learning engineer junior is the data scientist position the one that I currently am in and spend the most time in my day-to-day -day job. And these people are known for interpreting complex data to help organizations make informed decisions and typically have a degree in mathematics, which I do, or statistics or computer science and make about $125,000 per year. I don't make that, but that's the average salary and that's sort of how it goes. And lastly, they say a data engineering position is also very useful for those who have a Python programming skill set or background. These individuals build and maintain the infrastructure that allows data scientists and analysts to work with large data sets, and they can typically make about $128,000 per year. Now, moving on to the second resource that I've chosen for this video, this actually comes to us from the Flatiron School. And essentially, if any of you are interested, the Flatiron School is basically like a college program tailored specifically for those who want to go into the field of tech. From what I remember from looking them up, it is a bit pricey, but essentially you are just skipping over all of your traditional gen eds and all the classes you really don't care about to focus exclusively on like this sort of boot camp on steroids, if you will. But they have a very good article that I'll link down in the description below that parses through seven different career opportunities. And they, again, similarly, say that the first one that they think is just a typical Python developer. And so again, this is just a sort of catch all for those who know how to program in the Python programming language. So they're responsible for coding, designing, deploying, and debugging of development projects. They specialize in Python and are equipped with the pandas, NumPy, and SciPy libraries for data science, TensorFlow, and NLTK, along with the Flask and Django API web development frameworks. Like I just said here, they normally use their skill set for building websites and applications and learning to run deep algorithms. And they say that the average salary for a Python developer is about $130,000 per year. Now, what I also like about the Flatiron School is they don't just focus exclusively on Python, but argue that in addition to just learning the Python programming language, it is 
is very useful to learn other programming languages to become a full stack developer. Again, because of this definition of having to need to know both front and back end programming languages, you are most likely going to need to not only know HTML and CSS, but also other languages like JavaScript for front end, or even just the Java programming language, or even Kotlin for the back end side of things. Again, they use Python to supplement their skill set and the average salary for a full stack engineer is about $104,000 per year. Again, hopefully you guys can see a pattern here. We do indeed see another overlap between data scientists and data analysts. And again, right there, you're going to be using Python for big data wrangling, gathering and analyzing large sets of structured and unstructured data. Average salary here is about $123,000 per year, which is not too shabby. Again, another position here, a data engineer. And to be a bit more specific, a data engineer is an IT worker whose primary job is to prepare data for analytical or operational uses. And they are typically responsible for building the data pipelines to bring together information from different source systems. Their salary is about $122,000 per year. Again, for the next career field, the machine learning engineer, being able to use linear regression, build out neural networks, support vector machines, all these mathematical concepts, use the Python programming language, or rather it can be supplemented using the Python programming language and earn a respectable $142,000 per year. Now, the last two career fields on here are actually very interesting because they were not referenced in the other article by UC San Diego. They actually say that product managers could use the Python skill set because normally by being responsible for a team of engineers being able to understand the Python programming language, they might be able to better communicate what the needs are for the organization or the customers for certain features that they want to develop. The average salary of a product manager is about $100,000 per year. And finally, this field I found very interesting, performance marketer. I actually didn't know what this was until I read it. Essentially, Flatiron School says that performance marketers are responsible for managing digital accounts such as Google ads and Facebook ads to get the right channel mixes and drive key performance indicators for marketing. They say that they use Python for data reporting, automation, and analysis, and leverage the language to obtain the latest information about trends and markets. And so as a result, because they're not using Python to its full extent, the salary is a bit on the lower side at $77,000 per year, but no doubt can make you a competitive candidate if you're in the marketing landscape. Now, I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far and are feeling inspired to start to learn the Python programming language. But if you don't know where to start, might I recommend to you the course that I just put together for beginners who want to learn the Python programming language. Over the past year, I've been creating an online course called Software Engineering in Python, where I take you from not knowing how to code at all to being able to do some advanced and really cool stuff, such as unit test certain Python functions. Super useful for any Python developer job in the real world. In addition to that, in the second module, we take a look at how to use the Flask framework to build out APIs. And over the course of the remainder of the year, I'm actually going to be releasing a third module on how to use the Python programming language to perform data structure and algorithm type problems to help you guys get past and excel in the tech interview phase of acquiring a job in one of these fields. The course is only 50 bucks. It's 100% money back guarantee. I'm not here to take your money. I just genuinely feel that in today's day and age where the cost of living is just going up, there's really no other skill out there that's more easily and readily accessible than learning how to code in Python. Again, I'll link it down in the description below of this video, but for now, let's get right back to it. Now, the final article we'll take a look at here is actually from 365 Data Science, a very, very great website if you're interested in the data science career field. However, in addition to just being a data scientist, I actually really like this chart that they have here and have created based upon analyzing some job posting data where Python was actually mentioned as a part of the job requirements. Essentially, a vast majority of software engineering positions would like to see some sort of knowledge in the Python programming language. Similarly, and this is no surprise here, Python was mentioned in a vast majority of data scientist positions. Researcher positions also require the use of Python. Again, right, Python developer, one we've seen time and time again. So most likely, if you do learn Python, would highly recommend learning some kind of back-end framework like Flask or Django. Data analyst, the sort of light version of the data scientist, right? These guys are going to probably be using Python to supplement skills like Excel. Testing and QA can actually benefit from learning the Python programming language. And this makes sense because Python, I believe at the time of this video, is the second or third most popular language in the world. So for QA people testing code, it can just absolutely help them be able to understand what's going on behind the scenes even better. The next two areas here are for analytics and quantitative engineer. Quantitative engineer is probably something like quantitative finance, right? People who are working for hedge funds. ML engineers, right? They're going to want to see the Python programming skill set, no doubt to be able to use scikit-learn, TensorFlow, and Kiros. Full stack developer, right? We saw that one in the last article. So being able to supplement your knowledge of HTML and CSS with Python is no doubt a good thing. And lastly, again, here we go, data engineer. Those who are going to be able to put together the data pipelines for the ML engineers, analysts, and scientists can very, very readily benefit from learning the Python programming language. And no doubt, if you guys want to find out any of these salaries, really great resources, the US Bureau of Labor and Statistics or the PLS, or refer to even earlier parts of this video to figure out what data engineers, full stack developers, and data scientists make to try to pinpoint exactly which career field you want to follow. That's going to do it for this video, you guys. Hopefully you have a better idea of what career fields and opportunities are out there for those of you who know how to code in the Python programming language. And for those of you who feel like you just want to get started to be able to really boost 
increase your level of income and overall livelihood. Again, I cannot recommend more highly than at least just learning the Python programming language a little bit. You don't even have to take the course that I linked down in the description below if you want to YouTube it or go out into any other number of boot camps that are available to you. I would just highly, again, highly recommend you do so to be able to really boost your income and get to that next level of your career. If you guys enjoyed this video, I really appreciate it. If you left a like, comment down below which career field you find most interesting. Subscribe for more videos just like this one, and I'll catch you guys in the future. See you there.